they'd love to see an extended freeze to uh, kill out those plants mm -hmm. out there. And we're tracking something like that, too. Okay. So uh, well on the horizon. There's a lot of time between now and then. We have a couple of events we have to talk about. Right now, we have a beautiful afternoon. If you have a chance to be out and enjoy the rest of the evening, uh, go ahead and do so. Here's a live look from Lake Travis. This is from our Steiner Ranch Steakhouse uh, WeatherNet site. You can look at this web camera online at KXAN.com and also check out the current temperature out there. Right now, 67 degrees. Well, as we go through the rest of the evening, temperatures will fall through 8 p.m. into the upper 50s. We still have some of that upper level cloud cover that may halt some of those temperatures falling off very quickly. So by 10 p.m., expecting the low 50s, especially if skies clear out. If not, temperatures could be just a couple degrees warmer. Right now, we are in the low 60s in the Hill Country, 61 in Burnett, 64 in Georgetown, upper 60s along our eastern counties currently in 70 right now in Lockhart. At 67 at Camp Maybury, partly clear skies there, mostly cloudy, 69 out at ABIA. Very dry though, dew points in the teens, and our northwesterly flow continues light this evening, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Well, mold and cedar, very uncomfortable today. It's been a horrible allergy day. Mold with a count of uh, 1,700 and high. Cedar, 8,000 parts per million. That's a very high category. And unfortunately, tomorrow it looks like these counts are going to be very similar. Satellite radar shows that we've had the front move well out to our east now. We're looking at pretty quiet conditions across the state, except for this upper-level cloud cover that will begin to break up as we go through the overnight hours. We're already, though, tracking our next uh, wet weather making system we could use the rain that is something that we do need now that it has been very dry for the past several months this area of low pressure off the coast of california expected to track across the four corners region into texas on saturday bringing us a chance for some showers and thunderstorms something of course we could desperately uh, use as far as the rainfall clouds and radar forecast hour by hour through the next 48 hours tonight temperatures a little bit cooler than they were last night because of our cloud cover clearing out a little bit for tomorrow perfect sunny skies temperature a little bit cooler in the mid 60s. Friday, another cool morning. Temperatures low 40s. By the afternoon, though, we start to see our cloud cover increasing, so partly sunny skies on your Friday. Here's that area of low pressure out to the west. That's going to move in on Saturday. Like I said, bring us that chance for some rain, a few thunderstorms. Best chance for thunderstorms are going to be east of I-35, but we could see scattered showers stretching out into the hill country as well. So we go through next week, though. Here's where the big changes roll in. We are watching an Arctic system that has the possibility of bringing very cold air down here into Texas starting Monday night. This air is going to start up in the Arctic region, slide down the Rockies into central Texas and bring us a colder than normal temperatures early next week. Of course, there's some time for this to move around a little bit. If it shifts a little east, we'll miss out on some of that coldest air. Lows tonight are going to be in the mid to upper 30s across the board for tomorrow. We'll top out in the mid 60s. In Austin tonight, right around 40 degrees with clearing skies for tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, 66 through the afternoon. Here's that seven-day forecast. Saturday, a 50% chance for rain, a little bit cooler just because of the cloud cover and wet weather. Sunday, those will begin to taper off. We could see a small lingering shower early in the morning. But after that, then we're expecting those much colder temperatures early next week.